Good. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Steady, steady competition. Um, flu on rings, but got it back with the, the last three, so I'm happy with the result. How much pressure do you feel coming into today's competition? Not much pressure. I've been killing it in the gym, so I felt super prepared and you get a little nervous, but not like pressured nerves, just like excited and it's a big event, so with all that, you know, that kind of nerves just come over me. You mentioned there was a little mishap on race. Can yeah. you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, I mean, I I don't know if I've ever fallen on a Yamawaki before, but it happened today and flukes happen all the time, so I just rolled with the punches and took it with a grain of salt, moved on the vault, and uh, had a good vault, so picked it up. Yeah. How does this national championship compare to the last national championships before the Olympic cycle? Uh, I mean, it is part of the selection process for making the Olympic team, so um, there's that. Uh, but, you know, this could potentially be my last championship, so there's that too. It's my 10th championship. Uh, my first one was in 2014, so... Um, I'm not really thinking as much about uh, you know, the Olympic process as much as I am just trying to display the best gymnastics that I can and um, just trust myself and be the gymnast I want to be. Yeah. Who were you most proud of today? Uh, definitely coming back after rings. Yeah. Um, sometimes there's you let a fluke like that shake you and prove to myself that I can bounce back and uh, have a good last three rotations. So, um, yeah, and I mean, it's all so close and first to four competitions, so you know, I'm feeling good and I, uh, yeah, I'm happy. How are you going to prepare for uh, day two? Um, a lot of meditation, chilling out, uh, let my, uh, let my brain calm down and you know, just gear up for another day of high focus, high intensity and, uh, good gymnastics. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks.